careful or be cursed. Foul magic gathers here. A pest. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, leaving the warmth of Vice City and the desert of Red Dead Redemption 2 to the cold, frosty fjords of Norway for some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, this is called Plight of the Warlock, and Ivor, if he's out roaming, comes upon a hunter who claims the warlock killed his wife, poisoned her. But you can make a choice. You can talk to the warlock and find out what his side of the story is. And, well, you can choose whether you kill the hunter or the warlock. Either way, you get a little bit of some reward and, well, you just pick a side. It doesn't affect your honor. So let's get on with Plight of the Warlock. Be careful or be cursed. Foul magic gathers here. A pest. What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts, capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. So you're going to walk with this guy to the warlock's cabin. And, well, you can interact with the warlock or kill the warlock. If you interact with the warlock, something different happens. If you kill the warlock, something else happens. I will let you see what I chose after I fast forward up to the interaction with the warlock. This guy sits down and just waits. And I guess he expects you to just go kill the warlock or again interact. I hit the meditation button to see if that would trigger anything, like maybe the warlock would come to investigate, but he didn't. So, after time passes, Ivor walks up to the warlock and asks him some questions. So, I'm going to walk up to the warlock. This guy is doing nothing. I can't interact with him. So, the hell with it. I'm going to go talk to the warlock. Will you come to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. As a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Listen, he will poison all thoughts. You. you have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! Go meet your dust! <laughs> Going to smash you! Take your last years! Men like this 
these are more dangerous than any magic. They kill wisdom. You may claim his belongings. His body I will give to the land. You could let them duke it out, but they will never actually get to the finish. They aren't going to kill each other. You have to make a decision whether you kill the warlock or the hunter. I chose to kill the hunter. Now I'm going to check out the warlock's cabin here and see what I can loot. You come upon this letter and you can read it. To be honest with you, the warlock is not a bad guy. He's just trying to help people who are, well, ignorant and they tend to be superstitious and blame others for fate that befell them or something bad happens. Again, you can read it, and I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to loot the warlock's cabin here. He's got some stuff I can take. And then head out, because, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free and leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games. And you want to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.